Hey there folks, it's Yaken here from Train Ground. Yeah, so in this review video, I'm going to feature this Alienware X14R1 gaming laptop. Yeah, so let's not waste any more time and move on to the uh, design of the gaming laptop itself, okay? Now, starting off with the exterior. So on the top lid of the gaming laptop is actually a really minimalist design yet provides a shout out now you definitely have the iconic alienware logo on the top lid and then there's a uh, digit number over here 14 to shout out to people that you are using a 14 inch gaming laptop to do your work for gaming and productivity as well yeah so yeah like once again i say this provides a really minimalist yet a shout out design so i kind of love it and uh, amazing that uh, alienware has like provide such kind of a design thought process onto it and i really really love it and for the rest of the exterior design now on the left side is just you are getting an air vent that's it and in front here there's pretty much nothing uh the slight curve okay yep and on the right yeah again same with the left side you just only get one air vent over here nothing much to shout out now then moving on to the rear here is where all the things are happening a lot so first thing there's two side exhaust vents yeah to blow out all the hot air the performance is producing on this device then you have a USB Type C. This is a 3.2. Yep. And then you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Now, this USB Type C charging port here, yeah, is for you to charge up the uh, laptop itself. And the power brick that is supplied is actually a uh, USB Type C. So, hold on. Let me just bring over the. Uh, charging so as you can see it's a type c uh, adapter that is providing for you now coming back to the rear of the device so continuing on you have hdmi port usb type a charging port over here micro sd card slot good for those who wants to do some photography videography editing they just pull out the yeah, micro SD card from the cameras and just plug in onto it and then you have two you uh, lightning port over here yeah there is two lightning port over here and yep pretty much that's it and at the bottom you have a honeycomb style air intake here so overall I think the uh, exterior design is pretty amazing and much of design thought process has been given onto it. Once you open up the Alienware X14 R1 lid, this is what you're being greeted with. Here is the keyboard layout area and the display for sure. But let's talk about the design part over here. Now, there's a speaker grill over here. Yeah, to emit the audio. And I believe that some of the holes over here not only just provide the audio performance, but also provide a little bit air intake as well. I think so, okay? You can quote me on that. Now, for the keyboard area, there's no numpad, but it's still usable for day-to-day -day usage. I know there are some people like me love to have the numpad key area, but really you won't miss it because this in a compact form factor, the 40 inch, you don't really need that numpad key anyway. Yep. And as for the trackpad, not bad. Scrolling is very precise and so on. But I know some people were going to complain, hey, it's really, really small and so on. But it, for browsing, scrolling, the website and so much more, yeah, you really won't going to complain because anyway, you are going to pair it up with a mouse to do your productivity stuff and gaming as well. So, 
yeah, I think overall it's not bad. And the rest area here, I will have to say, it doesn't feel any rubber. Okay, it's mostly plastic, which is good. And yeah, I think it's adequate enough. So as you can see, I put my hand onto it. It still feels really awesome to type onto it. So that's a plus point on the keyboard area. Now let's move this guy a little bit up front a little bit so you can uh, catch a glimpse of the display. So the display area here, a 40 inch full HD display. Uh, resolution over here is 1920 by 1080p. Okay, and it supports refresh rate up to 144 Hz. Uh, I think it's really quite good, impressive. Uh, for those who want to play a lot of eSports tighter, yeah, this guy is going to be amazing and splendid one for you. Uh, but more details on the uh, display and the audio performance later on. So overall, I think the build quality here for the... Uh, Alienware is also impressive. Materials being used are really top-notch and once you buy Alienware laptops, it's really hard for you to like move on to others unless they also are providing the same top-notch high quality materials. Yeah, you won't going to uh, get felt left out when you are purchasing an Alienware laptop today. Yeah, that is what I generally think about the uh, build quality and for the design i think overall meets most people that requires in a 14 inch gaming laptop all right so we are in the game right now so this is the graphics settings so i just choose the preset in the high settings so here are all the things being uh, shown you okay you can Pause the video and uh, go and uh, check it out what is being set on. So as you can see, frame rates are fluctuating around the uh, 60 plus frames per second. Sometimes it can go low to around like maybe 50 frames per second. So it depends. So for me, the only thing that I would want to uh, maybe nitpick a little bit is actually the fans that is spinning. So I'm going to remove my mic and uh, put it just on top of the keyboard and you listen to the fan spinning right now. Yeah, it's really, really loud, to be honest. And if you are not using a gaming headset, yeah, you're going to find this a little bit annoying. But one good thing that you know that the fans is spinning and blowing a lot of the hot air out, uh, making sure that the uh, performance on this device runs optimum. Now let's talk about the battery on the Alienware X14 R1. So it actually has a... 80 watt hour lithium ion battery on this unit over here for me i think the battery life is pretty much at the average of a light user i think you can draw out three to four hours of usage not a problem and for those who are gaming or doing heavy productivity work i think you can expect like one to two hours without the uh, adapter being uh, plugged onto it. But if you are going for gaming and productivity, I highly recommend just plugging into it. Yeah, unless you are really in need to have like a quick uh, doing like video editing or just you just have to go and play the game at somewhere else without the adapter, yeah, you do have to expect that kind of uh, battery life is actually providing to you. All right, so it's time to end this review video with my final verdict on this Alienware X14 R1. 
Now, there are a lot of things I really like this laptop. Let's start off again with the things I really like. I like the design. Look at that. The uh, logo has RGB. Keyboard is really fantastic to type on and game as well. Handrest is nice, amazing. Speakers are damn crazily good. The uh, display, fantastic as well. Despite it is just a 1080p display supports 144 hertz refresh rate i don't think you would, can be uh, complaining too much over here specification wise is also pretty good for a 40 inch gaming laptop but there are things to nitpick as well firstly trackpad might not be suiting everybody a little bit too small for my liking okay just a little bit too small but the major thing I want to complain is definitely the fans are spinning up really loud. Even right now, you see I'm not actually playing any game. There's no programs being run at the background. Fans are really spinning heavily right now. And this is being set thermal at the balance profile. Yeah, during the gaming, it was really, really loud. And then, yeah, I don't think too much things I would want to nitpick on this guy over here but definitely I hope the latest revision will not have this kind of an issue to be honest sometimes I don't mind they are racing to make compact gaming laptops even if you make it a little bit thicker I don't mind as long the thermals and the fans are running at an adequate noise level and temperature i think everyone would like it yeah despite that yeah i i still appreciate the slim compact being done by alienware truly an amazing device star rating out of 10 i would have to give a 7.8 out of 10 over here missing a little bit it could goes to eight out of ten if not only for the uh, some things that i want to nitpick yeah definitely i think uh Illumay has a serious product here for the 40 inch gaming laptop scene what do you think let me know in the comment section once again i'm yaken from trend ground and if you're still new to the YouTube channel, please go ahead, subscribe. Do subscribe to it. Hit the notification bell. Share the video. Like the video. Drop some comments. Follow us on social media. And we will see you on the next video. Alright? So, one more thing. This is not a paid content. And therefore, Alienware has no creative input, no final approval on this video, okay? Whatever I'm saying here is based on one month on using this lovely gorgeous laptop. Hopefully you are aware. See you next time.